I talked to you about that breaking news before the break. We are just learning that a judge has denied another one of rapper Sean Diddy Combs' request to be released on bail. I remember he's behind bars at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn waiting for his trial to get started next year in May. He's been detained for two months on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering, which he's pled not guilty to. Chloe Malas is following this for us. Uh, we were waiting for this decision. We got it in now. What do we know? All right. Well, it's five pages. And the takeaway here is that the judge is saying that no condition or combination of conditions will reasonably assure the safety of the community. Mm -hmm. And that was what New York prosecutors were saying. I was in court twice last week and I listened to these prosecutors say that he was a danger to the community and they showed that video, that surveillance video of him from 2016 brutally beating his then girlfriend Cassie Ventura saying that you he has a propensity to violence and that alone is a reason why we cannot agree to the proposed bail package. Now, his team had offered $50 million, um, a home of his in Miami as collateral, and they said that he would live in an apartment on Manhattan's Upper East Side, monitored by 24-hour security, that he would only talk to his attorneys, that he would only have, you know, certain family members on a pre-approved list, um, and that, you know, he would actually be under stricter conditions than he is at the jail in Brooklyn. But clearly, this is the third time yeah. this judge not buying it. What was Diddy like in court? You were there twice last week. What yes. was his demeanor like? I mean, he was smiling on Friday, turned around and looked at his children. All of his children were there except for his infant child. His mother was there. He looked a little thinner. Mm -hmm. He looked a little worse for wear. Um, but he has seemed upbeat and positive. And a few days earlier on Wednesday, so a week ago today, his legal team had a win because his team was able to say that New York prosecutors wrongly obtained 16 pages of notes from his jail cell during a routine sweep, that it had his defense strategy, it had witnesses that they planned to call at the criminal trial in May, and the judge agreed that those should have been protected under attorney-client wow. privilege. So there was a feeling today among reporter friends of mine and people in the building here that, you know, maybe there's a chance that the judge, given he's taking several days to think about this, he asked for both sides to write a letter that he might release him. But this is the third time. His team, we're waiting for a response from them, from his legal team. They could appeal again. Mm. But I was, we were talking to Danny Savalos earlier, and he said, you know, they would have to propose something new and different to potentially be successful for a fourth attempt. Thank you for being on this for us. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.